It's time. Hey guys, Jennifer here, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. This week is the very last week of school for my kiddos, and to help celebrate, I'm making each of them an extra special dessert-themed lunch. Even though our school year is coming to an end, I'm still going to be making lots of fun lunches over the summer, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Now get ready, you guys. This one is going to be sweet. Okay, friends, now I'm kicking things off with a lunch for my daughter, Lily. And for her lunch, I'm going with a cookie theme. And speaking of cookies, I would love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite cookie? Personally, I love a monster cookie because it has so many different ingredients in one cookie. Now, since this whole video is dessert themed, I'm going to start with the sweet treat that's going into this lunch first. And you guys, Lily picked out macarons. Now, I have to be honest with you, I never even tried a macaron until I was at least 30 years old. So I think they're kind of special and a little bit fancy. This pack also came with so many different flavors. This one has raspberry, peaches and cream, lemon and yuzu, pistachio, blueberry, and of course my favorite, chocolate. So now back to Lily's main course. And you guys know, since this is Lily's lunch, She's getting peanut butter. Now, my goal for these little sandwiches is to make them look like cookies. First, I'm adding a layer of this runny peanut butter to both sides, and then right in the center, I'm adding just a few slices of banana. To really make these sandwiches look like cookies, I'm just gonna press a few mini M&Ms right into the top of the bread. And check it out, you guys. These came out so cute. They really do look like cookies. So now moving on to Lily's fruit. I'm just gonna add in a few whole strawberries and then right next to those, I'm also adding in some celery. Now to a couple of these, I am adding a fun twist. Normally I like to add peanut butter to celery, but for this cookie themed lunch, I picked up a jar of this. Now I haven't purchased cookie butter in a long time, it's kind of dangerous because it is so good, but if you had to choose between cookie butter or Nutella, which one would you pick? For a salty snack, I picked up these Quaker rice cakes. Now, technically these are not cookies, but they are in the shape of a cookie. And of course, you guys know I had to go with the ranch flavored ones since this is a lunch for Lily after all. And of course she loves ranch. Now to go along with the cookie theme, I'm also throwing in this cookie flavored Greek yogurt. And then of course the macarons. For Lily's drink, I can't think of anything better to go with this lunch than some good old plain milk. And you guys, that's everything in Lily's lunch today.
Next up, I'm making a lunch for my son, Jackson. And for him, I'm going with kind of a waffle theme. Now I say kind of a waffle theme because this is definitely not gonna be a traditional waffle. But before I get started on that, I wanna tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Hooky Jam. If you haven't heard about it before, it's a fun and addictive dessert themed mobile game. And this really challenges players to match cookies and other sweets in order to progress through levels. With hundreds of levels, each offering unique puzzles and obstacles, Cookie Jam keeps you engaged and excited. Your goal is to crush those cookies, use power-ups strategically, and conquer challenging levels. And you guys, just like my lunches, this game has so many yummy looking treats. Now you guys, Cookie Jam is free to play and available on iOS and Android. I just recently started playing Cookie Jam and I'm already at level Level 10. Getting to solve these puzzles and having that satisfaction of matching up all the cookies, it is so fun. So you guys, what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on the fun. Click the link below to download Cookie Jam for free and join millions of players who are already in love with this dessert themed puzzle game. And now with all that being said, let's get back to the lunches. For Jackson's lunch, I'm going to start with his main course first. And you guys, this is something that I've never made before, and it's kind of inspired by something called a Monte Cristo sandwich. And those are typically both sweet and savory. Now to this bread, I've already spread out some raspberry jam, and now I'm gonna be adding some cheddar cheese. On top of that, I'm adding a few slices of ham, and then I'm gonna to top all of that with some Gouda cheese. And now comes the part I'm not sure about. I'm gonna crack one egg, and then to this I'm adding a splash of milk and some salt and pepper. So basically, the idea of this is to kind of be like French toast, but with no sugar or cinnamon, it's definitely more savory. Next, I have to dip this sandwich on both sides into the egg mixture, and I'm trying really hard not to let this fall apart. Now, all I have to do is add this to my waffle iron. So obviously attempt number one didn't go as planned, but don't worry, it did not go to waste. And after trying again with smaller bread, less filling and less egg, I think this came out so much better. Now I've let this cool down and I can add it to the lunchbox. For Jackson's fruit, he picked out some sweet watermelon. And for his veggie, I'm adding some sugar snap peas. Next, for a salty snack, I'm adding some waffle-shaped pretzels. Of course, this is perfect since there are both waffles and pretzels in that cookie jam game. And then for the sweet treat, I have a very special last day of school surprise, rainbow cake. And you guys, this cake totally reminds me of the one in Cookie Jam as well, but I'm just gonna fit a small sliver of this cake into the lunchbox and I hope it's gonna fit.
Last but not least, for Jackson's drink, he's getting some pink lemonade with fresh strawberries. And now that is everything in Jackson's lunch. Okay guys, now that brings me to a lunch for Mackenzie, and for her, I'm going with a sprinkles theme. For her main course, I'm going to make some ice cream cone shape grilled cheese sandwiches. Now these sandwiches are getting three types of cheeses. First, some pepper jack laughing cow cheese. This is a little bit spicy. To this, I'm also adding some provolone cheese, followed by some cheddar. So now that these have cooled down, I can add them to her lunchbox. And just for fun, I'm also adding extra cheese on top for decoration. Now, of course, Mackenzie loves tomato soup to go with her grilled cheese. So I'm just gonna heat up some of this A to Z tomato soup. And you guys, this soup is so cute. It definitely reminds me of high dad soup. And you guys have to let me know in the comments down below if you know what movie high dad soup comes from. It happens to be one of my favorites. So now I'm adding this to Mackenzie's preheated thermos and she should be able to dip her grilled cheese in this soup and it should be delicious. So now moving on to the fruit, I have something special in mind. First, I'm adding some banana slices. Next, I'm adding some strawberry slices. And then on top of that, I'm adding just a little bit of crushed pineapple. Now, the reason I added these fruits is because I'm making an ice cream sundae themed yogurt parfait. And the yogurt I'm using is this strawberry cheesecake flavor. So yes, I'm definitely packing as many dessert references in here as I can. So now of course we have to have some sprinkles on top of the sundae. And it wouldn't be a sundae without a cherry on top. For her veggie, Mackenzie's getting some baby carrots with some cherry blossom shaped cucumbers on top. And of course, a little bit of ranch to dip them in. For her salty snack, I'm adding in just a few of these pop chips. These ones have a very waffle cone style pattern to them and they are cheddar flavored. And then for her sweet treat, she's getting these waffle cone bites. For her drink, I'm adding in a cherry Capri Sun, and then that is everything in Mackenzie's Lund.
Now, last but not least, I'm making a lunch for Griffin. And for him, we're going with a panda theme. And that's to go along with the chef's panda from the game Cookie Jam. I'm gonna start by making some really easy panda sandwiches with one of my favorite cutters. And you guys, this one actually comes as part of a set that I found on Amazon. So you can make lots of different fun sandwiches and these ones are super easy to use. Now to this bread, I'm going to add a little bit of garden veggie cream cheese followed by a few slices of salami. You guys, these sandwiches are really simple, but they're really tasty too. Next for the fruit, Griffin is getting a little orange and some strawberries. And for his veggie, I'm adding in both cucumbers and carrots, and of course, some ranch. For a salty snack, I'm adding some of these white cheddar flavored pea crisps. And then for the sweet treat, I have the cutest little panda cookies. I have them both in chocolate and strawberry flavors, but I'm just gonna add a few of the chocolate ones into this little panda snack holder. And now finally for the drink, I'm mixing some lime and pineapple to make sort of a sugar-free, super green panda punch. And that is everything in Griffin's Lunch. Now, don't forget to vote on which lunch you think was the best. And again, I wanna thank Cookie Jam for sponsoring today's video. The link to download Cookie Jam will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.